Now, Ghana has secured $6.5 billion in revenue since it started commercial production of crude oil in April 2011. Now, this was contained in the 2020 Annual Petroleum Holding Fund report. George Raffi has the details. The report revealed that these were earnings, so let's see what the country got in terms of Ghana's share of crude exported since April 2011. They were also realized from taxes that were paid to the state by all the companies operating on the country's oil fields. It also revealed that since December 2019 to 2020, our earnings have just gone up by $700 million to hit $6.5 billion. And the $6.5 billion is coming from revenue realized from 5.4 billion barrels of crude that were lifted and exported during this period. Based on the report, all the foreign oil firms since April 2011 have paid about $1.2 billion to the state in the form of taxes and rental charges. So how has these funds been used or disbursed during this period? Well, according to the report, $2 billion has gone to the Ghana National Petroleum Authority to finance its operations. Also, $2.5 billion has been advanced to government to finance some projects that were identified in the budget over the years. $582 million was put into the Ghana Heritage Fund, that is a fund that is supposed to be set aside for future generations, whilst the Ghana Stabilization Fund had about $1.3 billion, totaling $1.9 billion for these funds that were set aside. However, due to some deductions that have been made, it is now left with $844 million. However, some have raised concerns about the returns being made on these funds, even though it's argued that their nature of investments are strictly guided by the country's laws.